Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to quickly run through how the method of undetermined coefficients works. Um, and then in the next couple of videos, we're going to go over some examples on, on using it. So basically, this method can be used to find a particular solution to a second order non-homogeneous differential equation. Um, it is pretty straightforward, but it only works for a small subset of uh, differential equations that have a certain form for g of t. So when we look at g of t, uh, the forms uh, that it's going to work for, basically there are three forms. The first one is going to be uh, one with an exponential in it. So we have something times e to the, let's say, bt. Um, when we look at what the particular or what a particular solution can be, um, basically it's going to look like this. It's just going to have an undetermined coefficient and it's going to have that exponential with the same thing up here, b to the t. So we can really write that this is going to be the form of the particular solution and it's going to be our goal just to figure out what this multiplier is here or basically what this undetermined coefficient is. The way that we can do that is basically by just taking the derivative yp prime at t and then we take the derivative again yp double prime at t and we plug these all in so yp of t this is going to go into the original differential equation where the y is. The first derivative is going to go into the original differential equation where the first derivative is. And the second derivative here is going to go in where the second derivative is. If we do that, we're going to have a bunch of exponentials on the left-hand side and an exponential on the right-hand side because g of t was originally an exponential. And then basically it's all going to reduce down to something nice where we can solve for what a here is. And we can know what the particular solution is to this original differential equation. So the second sort of family of G of T's that this works for is if we have coses and sines. So we, if we have, say, A cos um, B of T plus something else, let's say maybe D sine of B of T, then we can assume that the form of a particular solution to this differential equation, where this is the G of T, is going to be let's say capital A cos B of T plus B sine B of T, where capital A and capital B are two unknown coefficients or undetermined coefficients. And again, we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to take the derivative once, we're going to take the derivative twice, we're going to plug it all into the original differential equation. We're going to have a whole bunch of sines and coses on the left, and we're going to have some sines and coses on the right. Again, we're going to reduce and simplify and eventually just be able to solve for what a and b are. And as soon as we know a and b, we plug the value back in for a, the value back in for b, and then we have solved that particular solution. So the third family that this works for of g of t's is nth degree polynomials. And in this case, we assume that our particular solution is pretty much going to be an nth degree polynomial as well with some undetermined coefficients. So we would just have a t to the n plus t to the n minus 1 all the way up until uh, we get down to basically like ct plus d and again we're going to do exactly the same thing in this case we take the derivative once we take the derivative twice we throw them all in here where they go and ultimately we just simplify to the point where we can determine what a b c d or however many undetermined coefficients we have so that's it um, it's pretty straightforward. It's actually, it's pretty fast. Um, and again, with the, the method of undetermined coefficients, we're solving for a particular solution to the differential equation. Um, it is possible to find a general solution sometimes as well um, by using our knowledge of the characteristic equation, if we're lucky enough that we can figure that out. Um, so I think in the next couple of videos, I'm going to set up the problems so that we can really easily find the characteristic equation. Um, so that way we can actually determine the particular solution and also a general solution to the differential equation, just so you can see basically how that works. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, join me in the next couple of videos. And we'll go over some actual examples using the method of undetermined coefficients to solve these uh, second order non-homogeneous differential equations.